Hello, hello. How are you, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Money Kinesiology for Six and Seven Figure CEOs. My name is Louisa Habers. I am your host. I'm so excited to be here with you all. As you are jumping on, please do say hello. So if you're catching, catching me live, say hi. I'd love to say hi back. And of course, if you're catching me, play, please say hello, because I'd love to say hello to you too. Ah, so welcome to our space. Here is where we specialize in helping you, spiritual CEOs, to live at your highest value so you can live at your fullest self-expression and to live your best life, the life of your dreams. Now, what you can expect more of in our group is money kinesiology, Facebook lives to help you to break through your upper limit, business coaching to support you growing to those multi figures and beyond. I truly believe that when entrepreneurs and CEOs are, are being their best selves and operating from a place of love and abundance, they make better decisions, they're better parents, they're better friends, they're better partners, better business owners. And of course, that all has a huge ripple effect around the globe. We are the number one place for you to come to for money kinesiology, channeling higher realms of consciousness and to be able to make a bigger impact with your business. Who's, who's here for that? Let me know in the comments. This is your place to dream bigger and to live that reality. I'm so excited. We've got some new themes coming up for you as well. So stay tuned for those and so that you can see how you can get involved. And I wanted to kick off today, our lives today, to chat with you about unlocking the hidden blocks to your money breakthrough. And then for those of you who want to go deeper, I have an invitation for you at the end. Ah, so excited. I know we have some new people here as well. So if this is your first time catching me live, then please do, you know, let me know in the in the comments. I'd love to welcome you. And if you've been around the block with me for a while, then thank you so much for being here. Let me know that um, you are here so I can give you a shout out and say hello to you too. Let's see if I can get the live chat going so I can see what is happening in the Facebook group. Alrighty, this is this is so awesome. So a little bit of an introduction if you're new to our world. So over the past six years, I've grown my business to multi six figures. I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs during that time to successfully break through their money ceiling. And throughout my entrepreneurial journey, I have had to solve a lot of problems that come with growing a business. And whenever I work with a business owner, if there is stickiness in the growth, it always comes down to the energetic alignment first. Does that resonate? You know, and for change and growth to happen in our businesses, we have to be energetically aligned to the expansion that we desire. Otherwise, it, it can feel like forever for the results to be seen. Along the way, we can have the same marketing problems arising, the same financial issues, the same, you know, entrepreneurial hamster wheel creating that exhaustion and frustration rather than the freedom and the peace of mind that we we desire. This is the thing, even if you don't think that you're sending out a misaligned signal to the universe, if you are not getting what you really want from your life and business, then your experience in reality is showing you that there are hidden blocks. They're there, <laughs> running much deeper than you think, deep within your subconscious mind and your personal energy field or your human Wi-Fi, as I, as I call it. So your human Wi-Fi, this is your aura. It's made up of electromagnetic energy, including your thoughts, which are electrical waves, your feelings, which are magnetic waves. So think of your human Wi-Fi as your unique frequency, the signal that you are sending out to the universe saying, hey, I want some more of this. And it's going to send you whatever is on that channel. And so to live at your highest potential and to manifest your next level in business, you simply need to bring yourself into resonance with that up level. Your frequency needs to be a match. So this means reprogramming your human Wi-Fi so that it is the right frequency to attract this to you. And I see this time and time again. There's so many blocks, common blocks that come up at different points along the way. And we know we need to for reprogramming your human Wi-Fi to change the thoughts and emotions so things you know you know you'll know some of this consciously then there's going to be all the unknown thoughts and emotions traumas patterns habits memories past life experiences energies 
your identity all running on autopilot in your subconscious that make up your your unique frequency and what i have found is there there are common blocks that stop anyone from growing their businesses um they will pop up at different points along the way and we dive into these in depth in the in the wealth portal and each money block holds a complex cluster of beliefs patterns emotions across the different levels of consciousness and layers of your human wi-fi and the key is releasing these blocks changing your relationship with money and ultimately your identity so that you can break through that money money glass ceiling and up level across all areas of your life And I'm back. <laughs> so the key is releasing these blocks. And I wanted to introduce you to six key ones. So let me know what resonates for you. So the first one, you might, might want to write, write this one down, is not enough self-love. So many entrepreneurs use their business as a mask to loving themselves or as a way to heal a core wound let me know does that resonate instinctively we want to say oh i love myself we love ourselves as we know that that you know is good for us however the subconscious may reveal that there is you know some healing to do so that you can love yourself some more and when you love yourself at every level of your journey your self-love guides your actions and business becomes easier easier and easier does that resonate? Let me know in the in the comments if that resonates. The second one to write down is not trusting yourself. So if you don't trust yourself fully, then this will show up in your business and it's going to impact your sales. And this one is a, a biggie and a, a, a sneaky one as wherever we haven't followed through on our word, our subconscious is listening. And this is the thing, it believes that you won't follow through in the future. So in addition, anywhere that we have had any previous financial trauma or goal trauma, this impacts our self-trust. Does that resonate? And then that has a huge impact on your manifesting and co-creating with the, with the universe. So following through on what you say or do, even if it's just like small, simple daily tasks, rebuilds that trust in yourself. It's, you know, strengthening your vibration. Um, and, you know, a lack of self-trust is a huge reason why entrepreneurs are, are held back in their in their business. So and it may bubble up in many different ways, being af afraid to invest in yourself, afraid to hire. If you are at that space of growth in your business where you need your next hire to come in to support you in your in your business, afraid to pivot. Perhaps your business is being called to go in a different direction. Hello, Deirdre. So lovely to see you. Perhaps you're feeling afraid to launch. And of course, all these fears slow down growth. Does this resonate? Trust is connected to self-love. So if you love yourself, you are more likely to follow through on what you say or do. So my invitation is to give yourself permission to take action on what, what you need doing and to start to increase your self-trust. The third one is feeling unsafe to be seen at the new level. Our subconscious is going to do everything it can to keep ourself safe. And for thousands of years, it might not have been safe for us to be seen in different places. Does that make sense? So our, our ancestors, they lived in communities, clans, tribes, however your ancestors would have described um, groups, living in groups, where if we think back, literally, like if you got kicked out back in the day, <laughs> the reality was you could die alone. And then we kind of fast forward to this day and age and the, the lifetime that you're living now, where you may have had also had previous experiences as a child where something happened where you were visible and you weren't safe. This could be being judged by the mean girls at school for essentially being you or seeing something on TV where that happened to someone else. Perhaps it might have been, has anyone done this? Public speaking and forgetting what you were saying. I know I have. <laughs> or a teacher ridiculing you in class in front of everyone. 
visibility is a thing, you know, and I, this is something that I've worked on at each level and old experiences come up and I was going to say it surprises me. It doesn't surprise me, but I, I, a new insight will come through that hasn't come through before. Does that make sense? So one of the ones just I wanted to give this as an example, because I remember, remember when my biology teacher, Mr. White, Bob White. Um, and I was about I think I was about 14, 15. I think we were doing our GCSEs um, me and my best friend at the time, Miranda, were really naughty at school. We would sit at the back giggling and passing notes to each other and he got so fed up with us that in one class that he made us go and stand in the corner and he threw tea towels over our heads because he didn't want to see our faces we thought this was hilarious at the time <laughs> we just carried on giggling but my subconscious was onto something else on a subconscious level I felt shame and for some bizarre reason this event reared its head when I was diving into doing my consciousness work to expand my capacity for more visibility. So consciously, I was like, this makes no sense at all. It was funny. Well, I thought it was funny as a 14, 15 year old girl um, at the time. Well, that's what I was telling myself. But subconsciously, there was other things going on. It had made, my subconscious had made a different meaning about this. You know, you get into trouble when you're seen, it's safer not to be seen and so on. Does that make sense? Here's why I bring this up, because being seen can feel dangerous because we might be worried we're going to get kicked out of a group or someone's going to judge us make a decision about us does that make sense let me know if you've got any memories from childhood that you can recall that you're like this feels like this is a sticky one but I can't quite figure out why it's why it's bubbling up now in relation to, to visibility and I see this at every new level that my client hits a new layer uh, or a hidden belief related to this is going to be revealed for revealed for healing and so reprogramming your energetic field to feel safe to be seen is absolutely absolutely key this will enable you to make the impact that you desire to to make with your unique your unique business and your unique gift so yes let me know in the comments have you had an experience where it felt like it wasn't safe to be seen whether that's from childhood or actually in business where you're um, moving into new arenas as the business grows and expands. How did you feel going into that arena? You're like, no, I've got visibility down. Never, never have any, any issues there. Let's see. Did you think I have a very early one that actually works into dreams and it's about not being given the chance to clarify your statement, being counted wrong before you had a chance to even finish what you're saying. Whew. Yes. So this, did this, this one kept come, works into dreams. Did it um, bubble up an experience that has then reoccurred in your dreams, Deirdre? I just want to check I understood that. That's a huge one, isn't it? If we're trying to speak our truth and then completely discounted and dis disregarded, what does the subconscious then? Uh, <laughs> yep, reoccurring dream, reoccurring place in the dream. Yeah. Darlene's saying, I have more of an idea that no one can see me. So is that that space of that actually I'm safer if no one can see me, I feel safer on some level. We have different levels that we hold these beliefs. So like consciously the adult would be like, that's ridiculous, I'm running a business. Whereas the child, what could be from a past life or transgenerational belief where, no, no, actually no one can see you. And we brilliantly created that because it's safer that way. Does that make sense? Visibility is such a big one for, for us. Hi, Steph. Actually, with an old childhood friend, he was introducing me to his friends and he had a crush on her and we were on a date and I felt she was more accomplished than me and I wanted to disappear. This is awesome because we're flushing out all the stuff as to why we might want to stay hidden and where these beliefs can bubble up again as we're growing our businesses. Does that make sense? Often when I work with clients, I'm like, why is that 
experience bubbles up now it's got nothing to do with it but consciously it doesn't matter if we consciously think it's got nothing to do with it the fact that it's bubbled up at that moment in time means it's got everything to do with it and so there's our clue to be able to start to to dive in to be able to release that and to transmute the energy around that so that we can feel safer and imprint new beliefs into our body so our body feels safer in this new direction and we, we've embodied that new consciousness so that we can be that signal that's going to attract that next level, that next breakthrough. Deirdre just saying, totally adults have a way of making kids feel stupid by not listening properly. Oh, I hear you on that one. Facebook algorithms. Yes. This is a thing to think about. So Facebook algorithms, if we... Uh, we could have somebody who perhaps does a, is feeling in complete alignment with their capacity to be visible at a greater greater level, become aware of something to do with Facebook al algorithms. And so because they're in alignment with that greater visibility can sort out the Facebook algorithm. Does that make sense? So then the Facebook algorithm isn't an issue. <laughs> Whereas if there's on any level of our consciousness, then the Facebook algorithm can kind of kick in and and because um, we've attracted that in to be able to not be seen. Does that make sense? Let me know if that, that resonates. That's certainly what I start to see is like noticing, okay, so what is my environment mirroring back to me? Okay, let's go within and, and uh, sort, sort that one out. The fourth one that I wanted to share was allowing ego to lead. So if we allow our ego to lead instead of our higher self-consciousness, then our ego can make us want to push through to the growth that we desire instead of allowing in flow and following the bridge of synchronicities, as I call it, that opens up through the co-creation with the universe. This, this can create a lot of trouble and stress. I know whenever I've allowed ego to lead, it's revealed so much of what is the next bit to heal. So of course there is a gift in that, but allowing your different levels of consciousness for your alignment, being in that space where you take control, you align the different levels of consciousness and you allow your higher self to lead. That is absolutely key for, for your flow and, and, and ease so that your higher self is making the decisions and it's not the ego. The fifth one, judging the rich and famous. Now, when you hear that one, what do you instantly think of when you hear, hear that? Or hear that someone has had success beyond their desires are there any thoughts of judgment resentment why them or even hate envy your subconscious mind is going to keep you safe and not allow you to become something that you don't want to have those feelings of like you don't want to be hated for example you don't want to have people feeling envious of you and this this stuff our subconscious is influenced by the media of course, parental programming, government programming, society, all the things as a whole. And actually, what we can see in movies and in all those magazines out there is that many communities actually look down on people with wealth and the media love to put the wealthy on a pedestal and then to bring them down. Have you seen that? You must. I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen that. We can all think of all the celebrities where, you know, someone's a golden child for so so for so long and then they go whoosh, bring them down so what is our subconscious then making a decision around um about it being safe to be seen to be wealthy or rather it being unsafe to be seen to be wealthy people are going to judge us etc and then it's like oh i don't want to have that so i'm going to create this whole scenario over here to distract from the growth in the business so that you have to start to fix this thing over here. Does that make sense? Hi, Lindsay. Ah, awesome. So glad this is resonating and serving. Okay, the sixth one I wanted to share was imposter syndrome. <laughs> Who here has ever had imposter syndrome? So you may have noticed this coming up in a number of different ways. It might have been resisting closing, let's say a big sale. And this can be for any part of business, whether you're selling a home, um, you know, a big service, a coaching package, big, big, uh, big painting, whatever it might be. 
Have you ever felt any shame because your prices are higher than your colleagues? Or feeling shame for having more success than people who started before you? That can like sneak in that one. Or having more exposure than you're used to. It was like, yeah, me, me. Okay, so then you know imposter syndrome. So this raises its head as we up level and, and it can also show in terms of starting to compare ourselves to others and worrying about what the other people think. So when we switch this to comparing ourselves to who we were the day before rather than other people, we're actually taking full energetic responsibility for being our best selves every day. And of course, you know, each day we get to get better and better. So there we have it. Those are six common money, money blocks that may be lurking in your personal energy field, impacting your flow and expansion to your next level. And as I said, there's many, many more, which I dive into deeply when I'm working with my clients and we use money kinesiology to find out and unlock the hidden blocks to, to your next break, breakthrough. What I love about money is your relationship with money just gives you so many insights into every aspect of your life. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And so he, in healing your money story and expanding your money consciousness, you truly do, ex, you know, change your whole experience of life. So I'd love to know, you know, did, did those all resonate for you or did none of them resonate for you? And if they didn't resonate, I invite you to consider the possibility that this is because they're buried deep within your subconscious. Because the subconscious is masterful <laughs> at hiding this so i'd love to know who here feels like they've had a breakthrough recently and they want the flow to continue or perhaps you're in that space of going you know i've just really noticed the plateau i haven't quite pushed past my milestone yet perhaps you're not quite at six figures yet and you would like to get to six figures or you're like no i've been knocking around the six figure mark for a few years now and i'm ready to expand to that you know, high six figures, seven figure mark. What is the story that you're telling yourself as to why it's okay to not have broken through? And what is the belief beneath that? And it might be, do you know what? I just feel like I'm earning good money, but I just can't seem like to break through to that next level. How is it showing up for you? Yes, Lindsay, you'll be able to come back and listen to this at the beginning, to the beginning again. Yeah. This is a Facebook Live, so it'll just stay in the group for you to revisit as a as a replay. The bit uh, which I touched on earlier was our environments are a reflection of our beliefs. So this experience of not yet having broken through to that next level is actually a gift of what possible beliefs, memories, experiences are being held in your aura. And therefore, then attracting back to you the same experience in relation to that, for example, those money blocks that we were talking about earlier. It's just absolutely, you know, vast our subconscious. And the crux of it is somewhere <laughs> in your subconscious, you're holding an identity, you're holding a set of beliefs and emotions, which are then informing all your actions that you're taking. And so that you then continue to attract the same level of, of income or the same level of impact no matter what you try, whether it's trying different products to sell, for example. Does this resonate? The subconscious is going to work really hard to prove itself right. And our beliefs, rather than what we perceive is what guides our action and our behaviours are what, you know, what we create and allow in in our life. We've got these belief clusters that are several beliefs that feed off each other energetically and they need each other for survival. This is why when someone is feeling stuck and they've done a bunch of belief work, they can feel frustrated and thinking, oh, by let go of that belief, what's going on? I can't break through. And it's because you've got a cluster of beliefs energetically all holding them into place. So you can have things like, you know, I already earn good money and I don't really need any more, need more, but I want to break through or oh, I can't earn more than my husband, I can't earn more than my partners, or whatever it may be. And here's the thing, manifesting and creating a new reality, it, it's actually simple, but it's not always easy because you're working with the different levels of consciousness. And when we're operating only with the 
the conscious mind and the sub subconscious mind and we're out of alignment of what our our soul truly wants we can create this wonky energy because we're creating from that ego consciousness we're allowing the ego to lead rather than creating from our higher self does that does that make sense i've used this analogy before but i think it's such a great one i love it is i invite you to see your higher self as a sculptor who's, who's the artist of possibility and your human self as the sculpture that you're creating because when you're operating from this higher level of consciousness you're able to truly co-create with the universe and open up the field of possibility beyond what you could have hoped for and dreamed of and as you become aware from the higher planes of course you can earn more money than your partner and save for more money than your partner of course you can have more money than you need of course you can have an overflow your desire to earn and receive more spiritual law means that the solution is available to you everything's created in the now moment means that as you desire more as you bring bring yourself into energetic resonance you will see it this is manifesting 101 you'll see it when you believe it and you'll receive it when you believe it so i invite you to consider that your eyes and what you see or hear or experience in this reality are just showing you a past vibration. And what I do to sculpt my new reality, you know, bringing my higher self, my conscious mind and my subconscious mind into alignment is I, I work on creating the identity of the me who's already received what I desire. So I'm becoming the version of me that allows the overflow in. And this is the incredible beauty of it uh, our identity is something that we can continually change and grow as we're growing our businesses we can increase our capacity to hold an overflow of money to hold more at every step along the way to allow ourselves to as we're growing our businesses the purpose of our business not only is to make money but is to make an impact we all want to make a bigger impact so I'd love to know, why do you, wherever you're at right now in your business, want to break through a glass ceiling, if you've been feeling a glass ceiling, or you want to continue to allow the flow, the overflow in? Let me know in the, in the comments. Most six and seven figure CEOs will say it so that they have you know, freedom, peace of mind, for the self-expression more choice, get off the hustle bus, have more time. Does that resonate? Let me know in the comments if that resonates. And if you're catching the replay, let me know what resonates for, the, for those of you that are, are catching the replay as well. Alrighty, if you would love to go deeper and you're ready to go deeper, then I would love to invite you to come and join us in our programs we are enrolling in our programs currently and i wanted to give you a quick summary for those of you that wanted to know more about working with me and if you want to experience working with me then do come and join us for our up level experience on the 8th of december we have a few tickets available so i can pop the the link for that in the uh, comments below if you're coming and joining in our coaching and mentoring programs and opt to pay in full, then you'll get a, a golden ticket for our retreat on the 8th of December. So you'll um, have a beautiful gift there from, uh, from us. So the Wealth Portal is for entrepreneurs and coaches. This is our four month program where you'll break through in 60 days or less and be supported in holding your up level. So you can continue to expand your wealth consciousness and recreate a new money normal and master the art of reality creation and then we have the infinite prosperity collective so this is for coaches healers and mentors who want to grow to multi six figures profitably sustainably so that you can make the difference that you're here to make and this is our eight month spiritual business mastermind so i'm just going to dive into these and give you a bit of an overview and then just reach out to me if you like the invitation um so if you reach out to me in dms i'll pop all the information over to you you can take it from there so the wealth portal I mean, talk about wrapping up 2022 in style. So this is for all CEOs, entrepreneurs, leaders who want to break through their money ceiling and to embody their next level of money consciousness over the next 60 days. 
what you get is you'll get training calls showing you the exact steps and how to release the cluster of hidden blocks and resistances and trauma that I've been talking about. And I found people do really, really well with step-by-step -step guidance and a clear framework of exactly what to do. So I'm, I'm there guiding you through the, through the way, step-by-step. -step. And we are healing your relationship with money, changing your identity around money. And I, I guide you through with some specific things to focus on and then our Helix Method manifesting process that you have the results that you desire. We gather typically three times a month. You're fully supported with time to have, you know, your questions answered, receive layers of coaching from me, work through any stickiness or, or trauma that's asking for healing. And we do manifesting activations together. We do Akashic Record activations together as well. I've literally just come off a, a, a Wealth Portal call. We have our live calls on Wednesdays at four o'clock UK time, typically on the first three Wednesdays of each month. And our schedule is on the membership site for you so there's a private forum where everyone can connect in between all the all the calls a place to celebrate and continue the the friendships that grow within the within the group and uh you know within the membership site you've got all the guidance and access to all the content in one place um, and you've got access to this for life as well which i know is absolutely priceless so you can dip back in to support your money consciousness expansions expansion at any time you choose and right now i have a special invitation for you which i normally keep our special invitations for our master classes but to kick off our money kinesiology for six and seven figure ceos in style you can come and join us in the wealth portal for just 1800 pounds when you pay in full or you can do four payments of 500 pounds and that's your benefit from our super gc 2022 savings and when you pay in full, you'll also receive a golden ticket to our upcoming event. And this is huge because the retail price for the Wealth Portal is 5,000, so a massive saving for you. Now, just to benefit from that, just reach out to me before the end of the week so you can claim your juicy bonus. If you're paying in full, claim your ticket to the expansion retreat as well. Bonus value of that is 444. So... So it's so awesome. I'm so excited for the retreat, which is on the 8th of December. So really looking forward to everybody who's joining us. We've got about 20 people that have registered so far. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It's going to be absolutely magical. Um, so just reach out to me and let me know that you'd like details for the Wealth Portal. We'll pop over the invitation to you. We've got it all in the Google Doc for you. So you can just read through. Let me know that you're in and then we'll get you set up. And if you are a coach, mentor leader and you know you need to focus on your on your business model and your offers and growing your audience and to know what to focus on so that you can grow towards multi six figures then the infinite prosperity collective is for you we have revamped and upgraded ipc so i'm so excited ipc is our eight month mastermind and you get training calls showing you the exact steps a roadmap to your 250k um business with exactly what to do so you know where you are in your path to success. So if you haven't yet hit six figures or multi six figures and you want to, then come and join us in IPC because this is your fastest path. And you have unlimited copy reviews of your marketing material, which is worth its weight in gold. I should probably triple the price of the program for, for, for that bit alone. And we'll be ensuring your marketing and sales are in alignment with your, your unique energetic blueprint. You'll be supported with new trends that are emerging in the market the marketplace changes over time so you need to be know what to focus on so you can stay ahead of the curve in 2023 avoid the noise we can get shiny object syndrome and get scattered so you want to know what to focus on so you can get the results that you desire and the growth of your business and as one of my clients always says you know i don't know what i don't know so tell me <laughs> And what got you to where you are now in business won't necessarily get to get you to where you're going. So I'm by your side guiding you. And then we gather together three times a month so that you're fully supported with love seat calls where you receive laser coaching on supporting you with implementing the, the methods in your business so that you can move through with more ease. And we do cash it record activations together as well. And I have a private forum as this helps people to be supported in between calls it's a place to celebrate and continue the friendships that grow within the group as well and we've got a membership site as well so everything's kept there for you so nice and easy and a huge bonus is that we promote you to our community so we invite you on our podcast and we'll start re-recording that in january and we promote you to our email list which is of over nine thousand people so that's just huge 
I truly want everyone to have the business success that you desire, to have that peace of mind, to be able to make the impact you desire to make. So I'd love to help you. So we've got two options for you. So you can choose what suits you best. So the first option we've got is you can have private coaching with me and the mastermind. So when you pay in full, I've got a super bonus for you. You receive the full mastermind package plus private Voxer coaching with me and a bonus VIP half day intensive with me when you pay in full for just uh, £12,000. That's a huge saving because it's normally 25000 Then we also have, so if the pay in full is not an option for you, we've got pay as you profit. So you can receive the full mastermind package plus private boxer coaching with me once a week where you can dive in for mindset calibrations, bespoke, powerful energy clearings. And our pay as you profit plan is £1,750 a month for the eight months. If you just want the mastermind, so no private coaching, then our super painful saving is you pay in full for just £6,000. So that's a huge saving, receiving um, savings off the 12,000 investment. And usually just one campaign of marketing that I'll guide you through would be enough to make more than your entire investment back. Or if pay in full it, you know, isn't an option for you, then we've got our pay as you profit opportunity as well, where for just eight monthly payments of £875, you can get started with us uh, right away with just one payment of 875. And we've got an extended payment plan as well, which I can chat through um, with you if um, that speaks to you, um, as would speak to you more. So that's all the information I wanted to share. I would love you to be our next success story and to celebrate with you. If this is speaking to you and you would like to come and find out more about the Wealth Portal or Infinite Prosperity Collective, then just reach out to me via DM or you can pop a message underneath here and I'll circle back and um, hopefully pick it up but it'd be more if you DM me that would be better because then I'll definitely get it <laughs> um, and we can have a chat and I'll pop over all the details for you so you can have a read through see the juicy bonuses we can take it from there we can give you some kickstart benefits getting started in December which I'm so excited about um, and I cannot wait to support you on your journey to your next level for 2023 so I'm going to be back tomorrow at 12 noon UK time to talk about what it really takes to create and sustain growth in life and, and business. I cannot wait to dive into that. So join me live or for the replay and I'll see you there. Thank you so much for joining me today, whether you've been live or for those of you that are catching up on the replay as well. It means the world and I'm honoured to serve you in this way. Sending you lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.